Hey there, this is Ray Salisbury from Nelson, New Zealand. I'm super excited to be unboxing the new Harnell timer kit. It's for long exposure time-lapse photography. Just got it yesterday. We're gonna unopen it and talk about it. Let's go. Now you may remember that Harnell in Ireland used to make the very popular Giga T Pro 2 set. I've used these for several years until I damaged the remote controller and they're not available anymore. But um, however, they were very useful to film star trails, to make time-lapse movies, for long exposure photography, or just to extend the 10 second timer on your DSLR. Okay, let's unpack this new timer kit. Now, the unit comes with a wireless timer remote and a receiver. The receiver usually goes onto your hot shoe and it will trigger the shutter. This kit also comes with two cables. I've got this kit for a Canon camera specifically and they're very nice. They've given us four AA batteries. That's a nice touch. We just need to put some batteries in here. Like so. AA batteries. So straightforward so far. Let's get a camera and try this out. Well, there are at least three advantages I can think of by using this capture timer kit. Firstly, you only need regular AA batteries, which are cheaper, instead of the old circular lithium batteries, which were more expensive and harder to fit inside the remote. Secondly, this particular unit can be integrated with other modules. For instance, if you wanted to fire off a flash gun on top of your camera or a range of DSLR cameras, you could be firing off two or three different cameras just with the one remote. And thirdly, you can use this remote as a surrogate or backup cable release. Okay, just like so. But this unit is way more than just a cable release on steroids. Let's go through the other features of this unit. By combining it with the Wi-Fi receiver on the hot shoe, you could be 100 meters away hiding from view, shooting wildlife from a big distance of up to 100 meters, okay? Firing off the camera without the animals seeing you. So using a garden variety cable release, even an expensive model like the Canon one, um, you don't get much bang for your buck. You can fire off shots without bumping the camera. And if you're on bulb mode, you can go more than the not standard 30 second shutter speed by locking the exposure down. That's about it. You'd have to use a watch or iPad app, or iPhone app to time your exposures. With a programmable intervalometer, you can program stuff like my star trails where I program the intervalometer for five minute exposures and then three second intervals for buffering. So the camera can write the image to the memory card and then reset after within three seconds and then do another five minute exposure and so on for hours until the camera has a bat flattery. Another thing you could add to your bag of tricks is the ubiquitous time-lapse. These are a series of still photographs made into a movie. Now for crowds of people, I will program the intervalometer to trigger the shutter every second. For clouds scudding across the sky, I'll program this to fire off the shutter every five seconds or so. Now, another thing we need to talk about is build quality. Um, the old unit was pretty solid and weatherproof, but I think this is a lot bigger than the old unit. The LCD is bigger, so you can read it. It's a really solid um, unit there in terms of build quality. Well, it's made in China. It is designed in Ireland. And um, it's easy to get the batteries out much easier. You don't need to carry a screwdriver around. You can switch this on and off to save the batteries while you're waiting. And um, this unit here is really solid. It could fall on the ground in the dark and it's big enough to find again and 
it's not going to be damaged likewise you can get the batteries out real easy if you need to and switch the unit off when you're not using it to save batteries so there's some real improvements well done Harnell and finally let's talk about price I got these from Rubber Monkey online in New Zealand for $160 which is really cheap for the value that they provide the old unit I got in New Zealand for $200 and it only lasted a couple of years. So it's cheaper and better built with more features. Now, if you're overseas, why not help me out make better tutorials? Hit the affiliate link below. You'll go straight to Amazon and see this product. Read the reviews yourself. Try it out yourself. And if you want to see me using this unit on location, watch my next video where I'll be trialing it out and showing you the actual video footage and photos I've taken using this piece of kit. If you want the updates to that movie, why not just hit the red button and subscribe? I'd appreciate that. Time to get out of here.